We're pleased that um, Michelle Carter has, has completed her term here. Uh, she was very, very active in programs from the time that she started. She got involved in education programs. She got involved in um, uh, our <clears throat> work program. She had a job inside the facility. And uh, some have asked me previously, how did she assimilate? And um, I think by keeping busy the way she did, she was able to um, integrate very, very well in the Women's Center and, uh, and earned the good time that she was, um, most of the good time she was allowed to get by staying busy and being involved uh, with the various programs. So um, she has completed her sentence. She's, um, she's met her obligations for her, for her good time. And now she, as you know, she will be hopefully um, reintegrating successfully given the opportunities she had while she was here. And again, I would say that she was a model inmate uh, for the entire time that she was here. Well, we will have a model inmate uh, would be someone we would consider to be um, free of any sort of disciplinary issues, someone who is focused on the rehabilitative process that we have here, taking advantage of any programs that may be useful and uh, spending their time uh, doing, doing uh, productive things that we believe are really the, the essence of, of what corrections is all about. It's about, uh, we're, not, we're not here to punish people. That's been done by judges and juries. Our job when people come here and the most important thing that we can do to, for public safety is to make sure that people uh, have the programs available and then take advantage of them. And she did all of that. So uh, when we say model inmate, we talk about uh, involvement in programs, you know, disciplinary issues, and um, she met that criteria for all of us.